Well, uh, I guess I'm recording my second video of the day. And today I really want to talk about Nanny Dolls. As y'all will probably know her as Party Glee, yeah, the Giggling Nanny. Alright, let's get to it. She was born on November 4th, 1904. June, nah, 1904. She died on June 2nd, 1965. She was responsible for 11 deaths between the early 1920s and late 1954, and all of them was her husband's. Nanny lived in Blue Mountain, Alabama, with one one brother and three sisters, and all the, and all the kids, and even the wife hated the husband because he would force. His kids to work on family farms instead of going to school like normal kids would do. And he would control her by like not dating boys, uh, no makeup, so she can be really unattractive, I guess. And what else? He was just really an asshole person. At the age of seven, the family was taking a train to visit cousins in Southern California, not California, Alabama. Nanny hit her head on a metal bar on a seat in front of her when the train stopped. For years after, she suffered severe headaches, blackouts, and depression from all this after she banged her head on a metal. She was married at 16 to Charlie Braggs, her co-worker at a factory when he met. 1923 through 1927, the stress out nanny started drinking, smoking heavily, and Brad's disappeared for a few days because he was really afraid of her when she was in this different mood. He can tell whenever she's happy or just really sad and or just like depressed. And he was just always afraid to even like eat her own food when she like this. Like he would like go hungry I guess or go out to get something to eat. For the night when she gets angry because she was af uh, he was afraid that she was going to do something because he knows about her childhood and um and Brad's is like I said Brad's disappeared for like numerous of days 1923 the couple last the couple lost their two girls to food poison and a lot of suspicion was sure as nanny around that time like i said because she was dealing with like depression and all this headaches and all that stuff and smoking and drinking and a lot of people was blaming her for it but she wasn't caught yet not yet <clears throat> her next husband harlison died and all right, but her first husband, he kind of lived because, uh, yeah, because he lived because he left before anything happened because he was afraid of her. Like, that's how badly he was afraid of her. He did not want nothing. He didn't want to even eat it, like I said, eat her food. Like, he was just afraid of her. So he just divorced her. So. Yeah, he, her first kill was her two daughters from the food poisoning, allegedly. <clears throat> her next husband, like I said, Harlison, Harlison, died in 1945, caused one night, because of one night, he raped her, and the next morning or the next de um, evening or something like that, she found liquor hitting like he buried it so she wouldn't find it he buried it and that's when she just said forget this this is the last straw of him raping me and 
Yeah, she later on that night, just for dinner, just gave uh, um gave him rat poison. And uh, yeah, but yeah, gave her gave him rat poison. Killed the two kids. First kill, allegedly. I really don't know. I'm, I'm trying to look for her trial and all of that. But yeah. But um. Yeah, and the rest of her husbands was just the same as Harlison. Died from poisoning. Like, that's why I didn't um. That's why I didn't really do more of her other husbands. But I may put in more effort. Or not more effort. But more, like, how am I supposed to say it? Whatever, I'm about to just do fucking, I may just do, put out more information of her own, how, how she killed her other husbands, which I already know. It was from, um, the poisoning. But I'm gonna see, like, was it from, like, dinner or how and why she did it. But, yeah. And then for court date, uh, she just giggled her, uh, giggled her ray out of court when a judge sentenced her. Her sentenced her, her, her um, court thing, yes. Yeah. She, uh, was giggling the way out. <laughs> But, uh, uh, oh, and she died from, I believe, a heart attack in 1965. Wasn't that? Yeah, 1965. She really didn't die from no inmates killing her or nothing like that. But, yeah, so, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, bye.